Now, I don't know if it was in yesterday's episode or the day before. The days are starting to run together here when you do this every day. We glued this on, and when I was putting the, the glue on, I guess I, I splattered a little bit with the applicator. I think it caught on the lip of the, of the bottle here and it sort of flipped. And when it did, I got little splatters on, on the side here of, of this uh, superstructure. And uh, it, it, at the time, it didn't really bother me because I thought, well, that's, that's okay. I, I could paint over this. And, and I did. But, but I was noticing after I did, like I sort of kind of dry brushed it on. Uh, th there's a huge difference and and it just it just uh, I was noticing and when I was pre previewing the video that uh, it looks terrible so I'm just gonna paint I, I think the best way to do this is to do the entire side just go over it and go from probably this this what you might call a panel line only it's it's not a, a, a battle line uh, go from about here and do, do the, this entire panel and this entire piece right here. And we'll try and uh, see if we can't get rid of those blotches because they, they, it just, just jumps right out at you, especially if the light hits it just wrong. Anyway, yeah. Okay, we will work on these little parts later today. Um, what I've done here, the reason for this little block of wood and elastic band is so that when I turn this on its side so that I can conveniently play, paint it, <laughs> I almost said play with it. Well, yeah, I guess that was right too. Um, it, it's not going to accidentally fall out. You know, Murphy's Law, it's, it says it will. Um, yeah. I don't know what these are, some kind of aerial, but they are extremely delicate. And just falling out, it would break them off, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, I think we should be able to twist this around so that I can get onto the side there. Okay, let's just do a bit of a dry run here. This piece of photo etch is uh, going to be in the way. But uh, I think that going up to the deck and then pulling back... And I do want to be careful not to do it too much and and have the paint start to dissolve that's already on there, even though it's, you know, many hours old now. I have found that with this Tamiya paint, it does do that. If you try to go over it too many times, it kind of gets globby. Okay, let's just carefully... I've already shaken this up in the uh, paint shaker. All right. Now I don't want to be dry brushing it on. I think that's where I made my mistake last time. What are those little bubbles that I'm seeing there? I guess they're, are those little bubbles? Yeah. Oops. Okay, I'm hoping now that this is going to level itself out, and when it does, I need a little bit more maybe on here. But don't touch the deck. Okay, let, let's just quit here. I think I'm making it worse. Okay, now, <clears throat> we're not going to be uploading this episode for another uh, four or five hours, so it's the beginning of the day, in other words. 
So we'll see how this looks now at the end of the day. Now I'm going to just turn this 90 degrees to the right and we'll, we'll do this panel right here. It'll be much easier. Oh, I got it on the deck. Well, maybe it won't show. See what happens when it dries. I think probably what my problem is I might have had the brush too loaded. I should have uh, dabbed more off of it. Well, like I say, we'll see how it looks when it's dry. I'm kind of concerned about those little little bubbles there though. I don't know if they're going to pop or if they're just going to stay there. At least, at least I'm assuming those are bubbles. That, is it little pieces of paint? Maybe I should see if I can break them. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's uh, something in the paint. Well, I think I made it worse just now. Okay, I do believe that's all the pieces we need to make a searchlight. Now, if you remember, when we did the Bismarck, I had made one or two extra searchlights because there was an, enough plastic parts to, uh, to make an extra one. And uh, this is the Bismarck's searchlight. It's, it's quite a bit larger. I believe the detailing is better. It's more interesting. I was talking about the clear plastic on the front, but I, I do believe that even though we've painted this now, this part was clear. Now there was this photo etched screen that had gone in the front of it. Um, yeah. So I, I almost like the, the Bismarck searchlights better. But we got what we got. Okay, I do believe that this part on the top that we're looking at right now, you know, the part we were looking at yesterday that I was saying you don't want to accidentally nip off, I believe that will be the top of the light. This part right here that I'm touching right now is the back of the light. Um, okay, so if that's the top, that means that the this part has to clip into the into the holes. There's one. Okay, there's the other. So we got that. Now I was wondering which way is this uh, X supposed to go? You know, does it go horizontal? Or does it go kind of, you know, diagonal like that? And uh, I was thinking it probably wouldn't matter as long as I got all six of them the same way. But I found a diagram that shows that it is supposed to go like this. In other words, it's horizontal and, and vertical. Okay. Now, I, I think that the best thing to do here... Okay, this is, the, this is the base. We'll worry about that in a minute. Um, I'm just wondering, uh, maybe I should take a little bit of extra thin. Just go around the inside of this, of this part here. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, then drop this into place. Um, am I getting this out of your perspective? There, that's better. I'm just doing a dry run here. Maybe these are not the best tweezers for this. Let's try these ones here. Mm, 
they're hard to hold on, make it, make them hold on to it. Okay, I, th I think we can do this. I, I'm not going to glue this uh, hinge right here because I might want to have have them adjusted up or down just a little bit more, if you know what I mean. So let's just uh, maybe what I should be doing is taking this off in case the extra thin. On the other hand, this piece here is sort of helping to hold it from rolling around. And I was just going to work. Let's do a dry run here. Yeah, that should work. Whoops. Let's try it again. There's got to be a better way to do this here. Maybe I was squeezing it too hard. Yeah, it probably was. Okay, where's my extra thin? Okay, now we don't need very much. Wrong tweezers. No. I want to make sure that it's horizontal. Now I think that's okay. No, it has to twist a little bit here. I'm going to have to pick it up. Okay, <clears throat> I had to sort of pull it back out and then turn it about five degrees maybe. But I, I do believe now I've got it straight. Okay, now this piece here, this part actually will go down into a hole in the ship. There's a piece of photo which has to go on here. I'm wondering, uh, should I maybe be putting the piece of photo which be on before or after? Anyway, the whole thing is supposed to go like this. A little piece of photo which goes on here that we haven't got yet. Yeah, I think it'll be all right. Now, I was just checking the manual. I was going to start gluing the other five pieces together along with this one. And I believe that I've got this the wrong way around. This this part here is, is, where, is the lens, you might say, where the light comes out. This, where this wheel goes on the back, is, is a control. Part of the controls that you would stand behind. And, uh, in other words, it's supposed to go this way. Okay, like this. And the control wheel mounts on the back, and then the light shines out this way, and you'd be standing behind there, turning this wheel. Undoubtedly, there were there were other other controls too, but uh, I imagine that the wheel was what turned it to the left or the right, and there was probably some other kind of lever that you know, elevated the, the beam up and down. I'm just sort of thinking out loud here. Okay, I think I'm going to just go ahead now and uh, and glue them together in a position, something like that, except for this hinge part. I'm not going to do the hinge.
Now that's a, a fairly loose fit. So I'm going to want to make sure that when it cures or dries out, everything's at the right angle, otherwise it's going to look funny. Okay, I'm going to just try something here. Got a piece of cardboard and I've made five holes in it. And I was just thinking if I was to take and put these parts in like this, Okay, they're all the same way. I don't think those are going to pop out of there. Now, you'll notice on, on these things here, there is a, a couple of little little bumps on this, on this arm, but they're not on this arm. Now, if I remember right, I'm just going to double check the manual, but I do believe that those bumps were supposed to be to the right of the person standing behind it. Okay. That one's a tight fit. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this jig to hold them all and then I will put the lights on afterwards. Now the reason I want to do it, this uh, peg here is because this is the one we were doing earlier that was a very tight fit. I don't know if it's a case of I didn't get all the flashing off of it or what. Okay, that appears to be fairly square. I should maybe be taking these out of there or else giving myself more room here. Yeah, I should have given myself more room. Well, I guess I still can, can't I? Because I'm bumping this and I'm going to get everything all messed up. There we go, that's seated. That one's down. That one's down. Maybe the thing to do is get them out of the way. Yeah, 
it's still straight. Okay. I think they survived. They're still straight. I'll give that a little bit of time to cure now. And uh, then we'll uh, put our lights in. Okay, now you can see on the back of, of these things where the little piece of photo etch D47 is supposed to go. These little, these little wheels here, one, two, three, four, five, six. This one here, 48, don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's, we don't need that one. Uh, we used one like that, I believe on the anchor chain mechanism, braking mechanism. Anyway, so each one of these has to have a little wheel mounted on this little pedestal. And um, I, I don't know if I want to do that right now. I was kind of hoping to cut all the photo etch at the same time. Um, there, there is a, a little bit more uh, plastic in, in, at the beginning of this step that we can do here. Um, I better quit poking at or I'm going to break something. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, see if we can uh, put a little bit more plastic together. Now yesterday we nipped off three of these. And three of these. And uh, as near as I can tell from the manual, see if I can get this around so I can grab hold of it. You notice on the top here, there's little notches. Now, I do believe that it's supposed to go like this. At least that's what I'm getting out of the drawing. So I don't know if we can do this on camera or not. It's kind of fun to see if I can. Maybe if I could hold these securely somehow. Yeah, I think if I can hold one of these securely in the upright position like this, then I can probably put a little bit of extra thin here and here and just touch that in place. Let's see if I can set up to do that. I don't think that this plastic alligator clip will harm those. It, uh, it's, a, it's a lot, uh, the spring is a lot weaker than on the, the metal ones that I have. Now, I still got to hold this tight, so I think I'll probably use the helping hands for that. Now there's two ways I can do this. I can either put the extra thin on these little joints here where, where it's supposed to go, and then take the part and uh, 
put it in place. Uh, or I can put the glue on the at the end of the part here. Um, and I think that's probably the best way to go because Murphy's Law says that if I put the glue on here, it's going to run down and glue itself to the plastic clamp. So let's just let's just try the other way. I'm just going to have to reposition a little bit here. Got to grab hold of this. I'll, I'll get it eventually. Okay, now we just want a little bit on here. A little bit on here. Now, let me try and steady myself. trouble letting go of it. There. Now, if I could just very gently... Oh, for heaven's sakes. You know what? I just looked up at the clock and it is later than I thought here. And we haven't even looked at our paint yet. I'm going to give this one more try. This is the same piece. Now. that these these things are supposed to go down well, just a little bit maybe they're down as dumb as they can go I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait a little bit and uh, although maybe I don't need to it just looks like it should go up just a tiny bit right there okay how does that look from your perspective it looks okay to me Okay, now before we completely run out of time, uh, let's take a quick look and see how our paint made out that we did earlier this morning. Well, I think it's better. It doesn't look near as blotchy as it did before. Um, yeah, in the meantime, before I bump something here and knock it crooked, thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.